from campus, Shannon, and I want to bring in a longtime sports journalist, Maria Cornelius. She's joining us this afternoon. She's covered the Lady Vols for 20 years and has written a book on the late Pat Summit. You and I were just talking uh, about being caught off guard by this decision. Uh, you were expecting it Friday afternoon. I would, if, if a decision if were to was, be made. If it was going to be yeah. made, I thought the focus would remain on the men who are playing Thursday. And rightly, the focus does need to remain on the men. But, of course, this is something that is a seismic change in Lady Ball basketball history. The Lady Ball basketball program has never had a coaching search. We have now entered the first coaching search in the history of the program. So this is going to be major news. I, I am disappointed that the men that it's pulling away from them some, but mm -hmm. I think that they still have, they play tomorrow night. They obviously still have time to refocus, regroup, and focus on, on what they have to do in Louisville. Been a tumultuous year, though a lot of questions uh, regarding Holly's future at Tennessee. Are you surprised by the decision? I think there were indications of issues this, this season. I mean, Holly and her coaches also knew this was not the level of expectation mm -hmm. at Tennessee. So I, I won't say that they are completely surprised. Are they disappointed? Mm -hmm. Would they want another season to try to work things out? Absolutely. But I think when they became an 11 C, when they lost in the first round, when it wasn't even certain if they would be in the tournament, I mean, they've been in this business yeah. a long time. Mm -hmm. They understand the expectations here. So while it is disappointing to them, profoundly disappointing, I cannot say that they're shocked by yeah. it. We were hearing from campus community. Let's talk about the Lady Vol community. It is such a connected, tight group of fans, a tremendous fan base. What's the reaction today? I was at work this afternoon like everyone else, and all of a sudden my phone is, is hopping off the desk. Mm -hmm. a, a tremendous response from fans. Former Lady Vols are contacting me because they live all over the country, and this broke so quickly. They're saying, is this true? Have you heard this? It is absolutely true. It, it is confirmed to be the case. And they're sad because mm -hmm. one of the finality, Holly was so close to Pat, yeah. was such a direct tie from Pat. Pat has not even been dead three years and now the program is, is being put through another somewhat agonizing situation. And Holly Warlick is, is a respected lady of all for life. Yeah. She deserves the respect of the fan base. She gave her life to Tennessee. Mm -hmm. She came in at Tennessee's darkest hour when we found out Pat Summit had Alzheimer's and kept that program together. She should be recognized mm -hmm. for that. And she should be remembered for what she did at Tennessee, what she tried to accomplish. And I, I promise you there is no one more upset today than, than Holly Warlick oh, is. Absolutely, empowering young women, empowering this community. Uh, she really tried to carry Pat Summit's legacy forward while creating her own. Big shoes to fill. Yes. Uh, that was certainly a tall order. As they begin this coaching search, any Lady Vols, anybody's name come to mind, or has anybody's name been surfacing? Monday night, I'm watching the Missouri State, Iowa State game. Missouri State, of course, coached by Kelly Jolly Harper, mm -hmm. former Lady Vol, former Lady Vol point guard, played for Pat and Holly, won three national titles. It reminded me of when Rick Barnes was hired. Mm -hmm. That one literally just I mean, it was like the, the stars aligned for Tennessee. He gets let go by Texas, and suddenly a coach of Rick Barnes' caliber is available for the Vols, and look where they are. Kelly Jolly took an 11-seed team. She beat DePaul. She beat Iowa State on their home floor. Mm -hmm. Her team lost seven of their first eight games and is now in the Sweet 16. She has a tremendous pedigree. She has tremendous ties to Pat. She's a Tennessee native. That when I when I heard, heard the news and heard that it could happen, I thought Kelly Jolly Harper has to be your first phone call. Tennessee would not be the only one calling Kelly sure. Jolly Harper. She's going to be a hot commodity mm -hmm. at other coach openings, too, because of what she's done at Missouri State. All right, Maria Cornelius, we really appreciate you coming in to talk to us uh, as Holly Warlick and University of Tennessee parting ways. Certainly a sad day within the Lady Vol community. We appreciate you sharing their thoughts and just your perspective, too. Thanks so much for coming Thank in. Thank you. We appreciate it.